Police Department has created an elite new team, a team that speaks the language of the streets. Young, hip, in touch with the now generation, Funky Squad. As you can see, people, our friend has left us another of his calling cards. I don't need to tell you what an embarrassment this cat burglar has become to the force. <clears throat> um, how many burglaries so far, Chief? It's the tenth this month. Ten? <laughs> hey, I thought cats only had nine lives. <laughs> <laughs> All ten burglaries involve diamonds and require the scaling of high walls. I have here a list of possible suspects. All known criminals. Riff raff. Eddie Grimms. Hey, Chief, you thought about looking on the top shelf? I beg your pardon? What's to say this guy ain't an upper-class cat? You're suggesting our burglar may come from a wealthy background? Cute theory, Einstein, but why would someone who already has money need to steal? Hey, square boy, wake up to the real world. It's a game for this guy. Why do you think he's leaving us calling cards? Hmm, interesting possibility. But we can't afford to rule out these other suspects. Now, come on, people. I want this cat burglar caught. You think you're pretty clever, don't you? I smell sour grapes. Ever since the chief was dumb enough to put you guys together, you've been strutting around like you own the place. Long hair, non-regulation clothing, no respect for seniority. Sure, you might turn a few heads, and your strike rate's good. But you're out of your depth with this case. It's big league. And when it's that kind of stuff, you leave it to the grown-ups. Understand, children? Come on. we got a case to crack. Hey, officer. I think there's something on your shoulder. Yeah, it's called a chip. I've already shown the bedroom to some other officers. They were in uniform and they couldn't find anything. Sure. We just wanted to check the place out ourselves. This your treasure chest? My jewellery box. I uh, guess. And these baubles he left behind aren't worth so much? The contrary, my dear boy. They're worth hundreds. However, the burglar went straight for my most treasured possession, the Montessori diamond, valued at over $2,000. No prints here. Cat must have worn gloves. I'll say. Check these out. Glove marks all right. Like I said, this guy covers his tracks. 
Let's hit the road, Cass. Cassie, I said let's split. Yep, this is it, Bunch Steinberg's jewellery store. Gentlemen. We want to talk to you about some diamonds. I'm sorry, I don't think I have anything in your price range. I only deal in genuine items. Genuine? How about this for the real McCoy? Oh. I'm terribly sorry. You don't look like... What can I do for you officers? You heard about this cat burglar? Heard about him. I'm on full alert here. We're trying to hit on a game plan. A pattern, you dig? Pattern? Here's a list of the ten rocks he's lifted in the last month. We want a lowdown. Size, weight, price tag. All right. Let's look at the first item then. Swiss mignonette. Small but rare. Four carrots. The second item stolen. White lion. Man, my head is still spinning. All them diamonds and carrots. I thought only rabbits ate carrots. <laughs> hey, cool it, Bugs Bunny. So how did you guys go? No prints at the fat cat's pad. Oh. Guy wore gloves. So you practically cracked the case. <laughs> hey, cool it, wise guy. Hey, you want a duel? I throw down my gauntlet to you, Sir Grant. That's it. Ah, fair maiden. No, quick, guys. That's what's been bugging me. What? Those glove marks we saw on the window. They weren't just ordinary gloves. They were fencing gloves. Say what? Sword fighting. I used to fence at finishing school. We always wore those kind of gloves. So you're saying our cat burglar buddy digs fencing? Touché. If you wish to join the club, please apply to the secretary during office hours. Your pupils have a nice de rompement. You're familiar with fencing? A little. Ah. I didn't think this was a purely social visit. We're checking out some robberies. So what brings you here? You heard of the cat burglar? The cat burglar? <laughs> Who hasn't? He's in all the papers. I believe he has the police baffled. Maybe. But he's getting careless. Left a glove mark on a window. Not just any gloves. Fencing gloves. We ran some tests. Size 11B. And you're here to investigate whether any of my students might uh, fit the bill, as were. Got it in one. Mind if we look around? I'm sure none of my boys has anything to hide. Please, go right ahead. I'll be in my office. Hey, Cass. There's no peeking. Come on, Grant. I'm on duty. Grant, 11B. R. Bennett. Hey, coach! Excuse me? Relax, Max. Just a routine check. Who are you? Rodney Bennett. That's my stuff you're going through. See me have a search warrant. Hey, just want to ask a few questions. Well, I don't have to answer them. And am I right? I'm a law student. No, I don't have to say anything I don't want to. Listen, Rodney. Cool, Cass. Kid's got his rights. Let's split. But, Grant, I just... I said, let's split. Grant, why didn't we lean on him? Take him down the station and turn up the heat. Cool down, sis. We both know he's got something to hide. But if Lawyer Boy is our man and we lean on him too hard too soon, he's liable to clam up, close shop and cease operations. We hang back, give ourselves a chance of catching him in the act. But I'm telling you, if it's a cat burglar we're after, I think we found our puss. You're standing on top of a rock thousand feet above Hong Kong Harbour, and the director tells you to jump, you jump. That's the 
That's the sort of stump that leaves a bloke pretty dry in the throat. And nothing comes near to this. Stud cola. In the new press stud can. Comes out easy, it comes on strong. Hey, bud, get around a stud. We know you're the cat burglar. I, I ain't done nothing. How come your bank balance has just taken a leap? I had a good day at the track. You were at the Delaney house last night and you stole the Montessori diamond. Diamonds? Diamonds ain't my style. They're way over my head. Well, where were you then last night? Well, I, I can't say. Why can't you say? Because he was down at the dock selling two-bit stolen watches to any dope fool enough to buy them. So, you really do have an alibi. <laughs> yeah. Get out of our sight before we lock you up and throw away the key. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Nearly nailed Mr. Big then, eh? Yeah, well, when you come up with the suspect, let us know. No, we're letting the chief know. Ah, oh, Grant. Cassie, how did you go at the fencing academy? Only one dude there with size 11B gloves. Name of Bennett. Acted real cagey when we rapped with him. Why didn't you bring him in? Grill him. Not enough dirt on him. Got to let him run. Catch him in the act. Guys, we got a hunch where that next act could be. Say so what? Me and Ponch been doing some homework. Mr. Gemstones gave us the score on the rock we're lifted so far. Ice block number one, four carats. Next, five carats. One after that, six. Get our drift? A pattern. Way we figure, next stone he's after is going to be 14 carats. But sticks, there must be dozens of 14 carat diamonds. Correction, Kazzy, three and two of them are sitting in a bank in Hong Kong. Let me guess. The other one's on home turf. Right on. Grant, Poncho, Kazzy, we're going on a stakeout. Funky squad, be careful. Well, I hope this cat shows up. He'll be here. And our 14 carat bait's upstairs. Check. Maybe we should have swapped it for a fake. Nah, guy's too switched on in the diamond stakes. He'd sniff it in a flash. Check out this neighbourhood. <laughs> Look at all them fancy penthouses. Man, one day I'll have enough moolah to move into one of these joints. You wouldn't dig it, Sticks. I grew up in a neighbourhood just like this. Yeah, sure, we had all the mod cons, but it came at a price. My parents were divorced. Daddy was too wrapped up in his business deals and Mummy was too wrapped up in a bottle of gin. I learnt the hard way. Money's not all it's cracked up to be. Looks like we got company. Let's get him. No gas. Wait till his pocket at the rock, then we'll catch him red handed or white glove. Right, he's gone in. We'll wait for him at the bottom. Police force. Come out with your hands up. You are surrounded. <laughs> 